This video is about substance painter patterns that may be useful to you. Uh, in the past, if I had something like, let's say, this speaker here, and I wanted to do a speaker grill over it in Blender, I would create something that had a lot of holes and it would use a lot of geometry. I want to show you how we could do this in Substance Painter and another pattern that might be useful as well. Um, so I brought in my speaker and I've got some materials here and so I'm going to just throw on a couple of of uh, things here. So uh, let's see the speaker cone and the speaker metal. We've done that this circle here, I'm just going to use something like, I might even use, well, I'll make it black, I guess. Or gray, it doesn't really matter. I just want something visible. So I've got this, and what I want to do is I want to have some kind of holes over top of this. And I've just brought in a simple plane, and it's larger than the hole. All right, we're going to do this in Texture and Substance Painter. All right, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to create a mask so that just this area is filled in with the, with the plane. All right, and I'm going to need to make a change here in the shader. Okay, let's make sure we're on actually the material we want. I want actually to be on the plane. I'm going to change the shader to PBR Metal rough with alpha blending. I'm going to do that. And in the texture set settings, I'm going to add a channel that is not here. I'm going to add opacity. Okay, so let's make the mask. Let's create a fill layer and a black mask and a paint layer. And I'm going to take my brushes and I'm going to take basic hard brush increase the size I may have to go a little larger than that even until I get a size that works let's try 150 click there now uh, what I need is let, let me actually change this color just so you can see that I stamped on I stamped on a color there and I'm going to come over to my opacity and I'm going to lower it all the way down. You can see now my speaker through the plane. But I want to create some holes actually in this area. So I actually want the reverse of this. So what I'm going to do is come back to my layers, up to the black mask where I did this in the paint layer. And I'm going to add a filter. And I'm going to choose invert. And now I have the plane where I, where I need it. I can put holes in this. All right, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to call this mask. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I want to create the, the holes. So I'm going to add a fill layer. I actually put it underneath. I don't think it matters where it is. And I'm going to add a black mask to that. And I'm going to add a fill layer to the black mask. I'm going to come over here. And I think I can turn off the color and probably a number of other things. But in the fill layer, in the grayscale, I'm going to add the tile generator. I'm going to come back to my main layer. And for height, I'm going to drop the height like that so you can start to see something coming through here. I'll come back to the tile generator. And now I can adjust some of these settings. I'm going to bring up the position. I'm going to bring up the contrast. So this is not yet what we want. So let's come to here to the opacity and slide this all the way down. And now we can see almost a fence-like thing through to my speaker without creating this in geometry. All right, so let's get to the actual pattern that I want. All right, there are a number of settings. So down here under pattern type, I'm going to choose Let's try paraboloid. All right, and then you can mess with these. I'm going to, let's try changing the tiling and just doing it that way. And then adjusting this. So 
so we have holes through and uh, they're transparent. Let's, on top of this all, add a material. And just for the sake of argument for the moment, I'm just going to put this, this metal. So we can see through, but we also see some sort of uh, nasty um, sort of fastening here or whatever. It doesn't look very nice. And the first thing I'm going to try is I'm going to add anti-aliasing. And that helps a bit. All right. Next thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to come back down here. I've got my tile generator. And I'm going to add another filter. And it's going to be the blur filter, so now watch it over there. Now that's created almost a bevel, and that's often used uh, either instead of the bevel in Substance Designer to create that effect. And you can bring it up a little bit or, or down, depending on, on what you want to achieve. Let's go back into the tile generator. I can change the scale and have a whole bunch more and then play with this depending on what effect you are going for. All right. There's more than one way to achieve the same kind of thing. All right, so I've got circles here. I've used, I'm using a paraboloid. Let's see what happens if I use a disc. So very similar using those two, all right? Now, if you scroll right down to the very bottom, you'll see custom pattern. And this is used a lot in Substance Designer where you take a pattern and plug it into a tile generator or tile sampler. Um, let's try a couple of things over here. Take go to alphas. Let's type in circle and take this one, this shape circle here, drop that in there. And I'm going to squeeze it so that it is an actual circle, not like an ellipse. And up here, you come up to pattern type, choose image input. So I have this, it's now using this here, so I can play with this. See if it wasn't squeezed, it's more like that. Let's put that back on, say, three. Okay, pattern transformation. I can change the number in X and Y here, so I could bring that up to say 20, and this one to 20. And once again, I am achieving a similar result, maybe not exactly the same, and I'm using now a, a custom pattern that I have brought in. So somewhere along the line, you would find one that would work for you know you for your speaker all right so you just experiment with these with these sliders to get the effect that you're looking for and again you know you're or you were doing this in texture which we could bring into blender and put simply on a plane and this is not even a subdivided plane it's one one poly, one quad, um, as opposed to how we would have achieved this or how I would have achieved this in Blender uh, a little while ago with tons of geometry. All right, so that's one effect I wanted to show you uh, getting the circles. We can have a look at bringing in another custom pattern. We could probably achieve the same thing if I brought in that circle up the border width. So, it's just, so the black spot's really gone there and then just played with this. And we could achieve the same kind of a thing. You just have to decide what is the style that you're going for uh, in order for this to work. And maybe you want to reduce the blur. So it's a little flatter. Mm -hmm. Something like that anyhow. 
back to the tile generator, back to this, two. All right, I want to bring in another custom pattern here. I'm gonna start typing square and go for this uh, slightly blurred. That's, you know, we just use the blur filter to create what seems to be a bevel to some extent. So rather than just take, taking the square that's very sharp, I'm gonna take this one and drop that in and start playing with some of the values. Maybe I'll bring that all the way down. Bring that up. Let's see what happens with this. Bring that there, and now we have this effect. Play with the squeeze here, pulling it to the left a little bit. And now we're getting that, I mean, I've seen that in some kind of old-fashioned radios, whatever. Maybe it's not a circle, maybe it's more of a rectangle for the speaker. So another pattern that we are achieving in this, in this way, on a single plane. Okay. Just to make them thicker. Three. Quite a bit thinner. Doing that. Playing with the scale. The squeeze. The hardness. All right, so two patterns that I hope you would find uh, useful. Uh, and then you would just bring those into Blender. If you have any trouble with that, let me know. You're going to have to use opacity, okay? So remember to use uh, something like alpha blending on your materials and set up your nodes appropriately to use opacity. All right, so I have more planned for this, so hopefully we'll see you in those, few, uh, those videos down the road.